Hello, I'm Sacho Luis Noguera Serrano, president of the European Way Society. And we are here in Valencia, Spain, in our preparation for uh, Shidoshi, res uh, respectively, and Sensei uh, for Oscar San. And we start today the first video, the, the first explanation regarding some curiosities, anthropological curiosities of, uh, of uh, Japanese culture and especially uh, some uh, characteristic things that uh, many students are coming to us and people that like you are following us in our YouTube channel for asking questions regarding many, many particular things of our tradition, of the Japanese culture and one some, uh, some uh, reply about that. Then this video uh, reply the question that is what's the meaning What's the uh, what means kame no kamae? Kame it uh, means startle, and is the position that uh, starting on katame no giko, we uh, are in this position like closing, and this comes from the kumobito, the kumobito uh, uh, ideas because it's close to an spider, the position of a spider and how to move, but of course. Being in this position, if the opponent is standing up and he wants to strike, to punch, to kick, it's very easy to, 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 to injure myself. Then, this is not, not a good position because I can receive uh, strikes uh, very easily. But we have to take in account what is the anthropological idea and the origins of this position. And with this, it will be very interesting to understand why we start some techniques in Kame no Kamae. Then, in order to pass, to go through the practical study, let's understand that uh, Kame no Kamae is it's, um, a it's, uh, consequence of uh, situations that has started before. For example, if we are in a meeting, in a gathering with older samurai and someone, for example, uh, in front of me, it could be also in a, in a, in a chanoyu, in a tea ceremony. But of course, we won't have a tanto. In this case, we will have, for example, um, um, a kosuka or other small bladed weapons. But in this case, taking a tanto as a reference, the opponent will try to attack me, will betray myself and try to attack me. For example, trying to, to, to hold my ear or hold my neck in order to follow with, uh, with a direct strike or a direct attack. Then when I, uh, when I see him, that he's coming to me, for example, try, uh, the first thing I protect protect my, my neck, protect my face, and go to the, to the ground. For example, striking with my elbow to this point, and it will be very painful or going to this, okay? When we have this, uh, this situation, I have here my head to strike up, but have the option to take out the tanto, to, uh, to draw the, the tanto out, and pure stuff in, in, for example, in, 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 his, in his stomach here, and also going up to stuff on the neck, to stuff in the face, and uh, get free of this circumstance, of this situation. Then, this is one reason regarding Kame no Kama. Let's go through other reasons, other circumstances that uh, it's very interesting position. For example, in the following idea, if we are in a torite situation, okay, someone tried to catch me, someone tried to, to restrain me and imprison myself, then, for example, he is coming by back, by my, by my back, and hold my hand and hold my neck in order to perform a classical torite. Okay, I am, uh, I have uh, a very difficult situation here, what I will try to do is to move here, close, and go forward. He could maybe fall down to the ground, 
or maybe go to other uh, position, for example, reestablish himself, the balance, or whatever. But here I have the situation, uh, I have the conditions to take out the tanto and uh, maybe stab, maybe purse on the on the arm, on the on the wrist in order to take out and go here and I have the condition here to finish. Okay? This is the second situation. Let's go for example for uh, uh, an, uh, another situation but it's very interesting. For example in some kumiuchi and some jujutsu uh, defenses against Tanto, maybe I am using a Tanto, he's standing up then in this circumstance I try to cut and at the end I try to stall and he blocks my attack. In this circumstance he could try maybe going to the ground or maybe uh, uh, pressing by, my, by, the, uh, by the shoulder and making these falls here. Then I have here the situation of Kameno Kama. Again, I go here, I could hit I could come here and of course stab maybe from this situation, please one more time, only go with the knife for cutting him in this uh, in the tendons on the on the ankle and of course going forward to strike, avoiding him to take out a tanto, to take out a weapon and of course uh, killing him in this circumstance. Then, these are the anthropological, historical reasons for this uh, kamai, for this posture. Then, kameru kamai, it's not a way to defend, it's a way to relocate, to uh, uh, set a new balance and a new control position in order to avoid maybe uh, an attack, like in a gathering, or, um, or avoid uh, a control in a torrented situation and uh, of course uh, many other situations that could come from a, from a melee, is to say a, a, a regular combat. Then uh, with this explanation I finish this first video of the series that you will, uh, you will see in the next days regarding monotsuki, is to say curiosities about uh, Japanese tradition. Then. As, uh, as always, please keep attention in order to follow these interesting videos. Thank you very much.